All right, let's jump in here and cover a few of the new features I've implemented over the past month or so. Uh, last time we took a look at the AP hit and AP hit modifiers tables. Uh, you can see across the top that I've implemented a number of other tables to the system. We'll take a look at those in a second, but first I wanted to quickly show you what I've done as far as counter movement points and their allowances for each unit. Here we can see two Panzer IV H's are on the board and they're essentially uh, the same tank, two different tanks, same counter, but we can see that this counter has uh, movement point allowances that are different from this counter. And the reason for that is because of this short halt command that halves the values of the counter. So you don't have to do the math, the system does it for you. We can see that the cross country point uh, movement point allowance has reduced, uh, been reduced from four to two and uh, been divided by two. So five divided by two is 2.5, rounded down is two and half of eight is four. So the system automatically takes care of this for you. And I've got some buttons across the top here that I use just to demonstrate certain features uh, that make it easy and quick to uh, show you what I've been doing. So let's just take this same unit, we'll select it. And those values have been halved, like we said, but also if it gets damaged, they get halved again. And if in fact this unit gets a track hit, I think you can guess what happens. They all turn to zero. The unit is now immobilized. So let's set those back. And you might have noticed something else new that's uh, popped up, and that is the spotted units area. Now, for this Panzer IV H, if we zoom out a little bit, oh, we can see it's spotted a number of French units. Uh, and those spotted units appear in this spotted units area. So for each spotted unit, we can see that it indicates uh, which country it's from, what unit it is, uh, the, its unit number, the range, uh, the aspect, the status of whether or not it's damaged, if it has any suppression, the points value for that spotted unit, the shot type, whether it's level rising or a falling shot, uh, the unit uh, grade of that spotted unit, where it is on the board, what terrain it's in, and so on. So it's an easy way to uh, just look at a glance at all the units we've spotted. And for each spotted unit, we can also locate that unit by clicking the locate button. So the system just centers right over top of that unit. And if we, highlight that unit, we can see that the line of sight is actually turned orange. So when we've selected a spotted unit, the unit card for this Panzer IV H has been updated to reflect the offensive and defensive information between it and the selected spotted unit. So let's go ahead and spot uh, select this spotted unit, this French AMD-35, and we can see that the ammunition types that are available to be used against the AMD-35 are lit up and highlighted at their respective gunnery ranges, and also the defensive information is lit up that's uh, uh, to be used if the French unit was to fire back on us. So we can see that this French unit, if it fired on us, it would be a level shot. And these are the values for our armor. Uh, so if it shot and hit our turret front, we would use an armor value of 22. If it hit our turret side, we'd have an armor value of eight and so on. So let's pick this AMD 35. And we can see that it has two ammunition types, AP and GP, general purpose. 
they're not activated yet because we don't have a selected spotted unit from this area. So let's go ahead and select, well, let's pop it to the top, this Panzer 4G. So there it is. We can see that we can use either AP or GP ammunition, and we can actually now select which type of ammunition we're actually going to use. So let's go ahead and pick AP ammunition. Now when we open up our AP hit table, we can see that we need a 77 or less to actually hit this Panzer 4G. So let's uh, do a, a, a sample roll here just to um, see what we get. We get an 18 and it is in fact less than 77. So we have a result that the target is hit. So if we actually go and open up the hit locations table, where did we hit this Panzer 4G? Well, since it was a front aspect, we hit the front of the vehicle. So we use the front row on the AP hit locations and we can see the one to four value is highlighted. And that's because we use the tens die from our AP hit roll to determine where the shot hit on the Panzer 4G. So if we look at the tens die, it's a one, so it falls between one and four, and we've hit the turret front. So from there, we're gonna go to the AP number of hits table. And on this table, we can see that the AMD 35 has a rate of fire of F. And what that means is, depending on what we rolled, we can either uh, get three hits on this vehicle, two hits, or one hit. So to determine this, we use the 70 to 79 row, and that's because uh, of our AP hit to hit value was 77%. It falls between 70 and 79. So if we look across at the F columns, we can either uh, uh, have a one to 15, if our roll is between one and 15, or 16 and 30, or 31 and over, that will determine how many uh, hits we will be calculating on the Panzer 4G. So our role was actually 18, and 18 falls between 16 and 30. So we've actually got two hits on the Panzer 4G. So let's do something different now. And instead of AP ammunition, let's use GP ammunition, and we'll demonstrate that. So these are two new tables that I've put into the system. And like AP hit modifiers, the GP fire modifiers table is very similar. Um, we go through the list of modifiers and see which ones apply. And then we take the total of that value and then we'll apply it to our roll when we roll for general purpose combat results. So we can see here, we've got two highlighted GP fire modifiers. The first one is that the target the Panzer 4G is actually an A-type vehicle. And that A-type vehicle is indicated actually in the GPD uh, stat 2A. So it's an A-type vehicle. Our role, we're actually gonna get uh, a minus 20. We'll have to subtract 20 from that role. And we would also take into account the shooter grade. And now the shooter is the AMD 35. The grade for this unit is veteran. It's indicated on the unit card as well as on the counter. And as a matter of fact, it's a zero. So it doesn't affect, uh, it has no modification to our GP combat role. We can actually take a look at how this value was uh, calculated by opening up our unit grade modifiers table. 
Now it's accessible both from the top of the menu. We can see the unit grade modifiers button up top and also uh, a little uh, table icon. Anywhere we see this icon, we can click on it and open up that respective table. And so for a veteran shooter, we use the veteran row. And because we're using GP ammunition, it's at short range. So we use the short range column and we can see that there's a column for AP and a column for GP under short range. And because we're using GP, we use the GP column, of course, and it's at a value of zero. So no modification based on the shooter grade. So let's close that up and open up our GP combat results table. Lots of tables, lots of crunchy numbers. And we can see already that the uh, associated values are highlighted for us already on this table. And let's take a look at how these uh, got highlighted, why they were highlighted. So what we want to do is cross-reference our GP factor of our uh, ammunition that we selected, cross-reference that with the GP defense factor of the target vehicle. So if we look at the GP ammunition, it has a GP factor of three. So we're going to use the GP factor three column and we'll cross reference that with the GP defense factor of the target vehicle which is two. So if we look across the two row we see we have two values one is the no effect value the other value is the S value or suppression uh, value. So what these mean um, the no effect value of 47 will get a no effect result if we roll anything 47 and under. If we roll between 48 and 74, well, the target will be suppressed. And if we roll anything higher than a 74, the target will have an, will have an effective result on the target. And we can see this summary indicated here in the dice rolling area for the GP combat results. So here we have our uh, dice area with our roll button. And when we roll, we'll get a value. The GP modifier total is minus 20, and that's from our GP fire modifier table. We'll sum up all of these values. And right now it's at minus 20 and zero, so a net total of minus 20. And uh, we'll get a modified roll. And that modified roll will be compared against uh, these uh, categories. So let's go ahead and roll 48. So we get a, a roll of 48 minus our GP modifier of minus 20, and we get a modified roll of 28. 28 falls in the no effect category, is less than 47, and our result is no effect. And that's about it. Oh, one other thing. It, just the terrain effects table has all of the units in uh, terrain effects indicated and highlighted if they're relevant. All right. Thanks for listening. Post your comments below. Thanks.